Hello friends, grammar rules are not your father's property. Grammar rules are not your father's property. They keep on changing. It's inevitable. Grammar rules are not your inherited property. They keep on changing. Nobody can control the phenomenon and nobody has the authority to prevent the same. The changes happen all the time and the changing process flows like a river continuously. It cannot be stopped and if it gets stopped then the language will be dead as it happens with a dead or lost river. No, it's not your fault and it may be justified if you start thinking that this channel is entirely determined to speak against grammar rules even if it has genuineness or essence in it or not. I don't blame you, but you may say I kind of a person who always finds some discrepancies within the grammar rules. You may call it a kind of obsession from my side. It may be the cause that for whatever reason, whenever I have tried to find any grammar rule, I have noticed most of the time that there were some exceptions of the same rule. So maybe deep inside my mind I analyzed unconsciously that memorizing grammar rules are just useless and we have given unnecessary importance to it. Can I give you some examples in support of my thoughts about grammar rules? Okay, let's begin. The grammar books in general say that the sentences are of four kinds. They are declarative or assertive sentence, question or interrogative sentence, imperative sentence and exclamatory sentence. You all know it. They have all distinct rules and explanations and I don't have to define them. I had a belief that at least for this section of grammar rules there won't be any exceptions. Not only that, I didn't even find anyone citing any exceptions against these four kinds of sentences. However, my adventurous mind wasn't satisfied with it. I eagerly tried to search for some exceptions or rather you can think it in this way. I tried to find at least some loopholes in them. And hurrah, there I got it. The joy knew no bounds. So let me share my findings with you. Hope you will like them and enjoy. Recently, I have come across to several sentences which according to me are neither declarative nor interrogative sentences. They are the sentences with question tags. They may be declarative or imperative and at the same time question also. And the sentences join themselves with commas. Now my question is in which category will you keep them? In which category will you keep them? Let's check the following examples. Here question tags are added after the declarative sentences with a comma. The example sentence is, I believe you have correctly answered 
all the physics questions haven't you next example there's a football match tomorrow isn't there next she plays the guitar doesn't she and many more now another sentences where question tags are added after the imperative sentences go there and sit quietly will you leave this place soon won't you and so on. here are some other questions or interrogative sentences which actually ask nothing but the sentences act like kind of imperative sentences would you mind your own business please will you oil your own machine another form of question sentence you will frequently hear is like who cares who cares it doesn't actually ask anything it is just a plain and simple statement which means i don't care so to summarize this i can say with confidence that the grammar rules will keep on changing with the influence of other languages and other many factors this is the normal tendency and we cannot prevent the changes if you are still with me up to this point i it means that at least you want to listen to what i say and i hope you will continue to watch my topics in future thanks a lot see you again with a new topic till then bye